next video is on normal distribution see in today's video we are going to explain a problem that is in a normal distribution 31 percent of the items are under 45 and 8 percent are over 64 find the mean and the variance of the distribution see it's very easy to understand first of all what is given 31 percent of the items are under 45 under 45 means we have to take the region which is left side to the ordinate and 8 percent are over 64 so we have to plot this on the right side of the ordinate over 64 means on the right side under 45 means towards the left side of the ordinate see here when the percentage is given so we have to assume that the probability is given and again we have to find out the variables so here the variables is mean and the variance so mean is represented by mu and variance is represented by sigma square so first of all it is very clear it is very clear that the two statements are given 31 percent of the items are under 45 and 8 percent are over 64 under and over so we have to be very careful while plotting and next we have to find out the mean and the variance of the distribution the question is so simple if you don't understand read the question for one more time and see in the solution what is given let mu be the mean and sigma be the standard deviation so we need the variance here sigma square is nothing but the variance so what is given 31 percent of the items are under 45 and 8 percent of the items are over 65 see here so what is given first of all it is given that probability of x less than x less than 45 is equal to 31 percent and the next one the probability of x greater than 64 is nothing but 8 percent so it is less than and it is greater than and now we have to plot this so we have to use the normal distribution curve so this is nothing but see here the curve it, it is very simple so as usual this is x is equal to mu and see some items 31 31 percent of the items are under 45 under means we have to represent towards the left side of the ordinate that is 45 so this will be 31 percent so this is 31 percent and see here 8 percent of the items are over 65 over 65 means we have to consider on the right side to the ordinate so this is 8 percent 8% means, see here, this is 30, 31 by 100, which is equal to 31 by 100 is equal to 0 0.31. This is 8 by 100. So, this will be 0 0.08. The value here is 0 0.08. So, we need this area. See here. So, we need this area to be known. So, this is over 64 so when the x value is over 64 so it is 8 percent so x is equal to 64 here when using z coordinates this is z is equal to 0 so this is z is equal to z1 and this value is z is equal to z2 and see here we know that this is half percent so this value will be 0 0.5 see here so, as you know that this value is nothing but uh, 0 0.5. Half of the bell is 0 0.5 and half of the bell is 0 0.5. And so, if I subtract from 0 0.5, this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.31. The value here will be 0 0.91. And see here, if I subtract 0 0.5 minus this is 0 0.08 the value here is 0 0.42 the value here is 0 0.42 this is 0 0.08 so here we got the region from 0 to z1 see here 0 to z1 as 0 0.91 and from 0 to z2 as 0 0.42 so clear so this is the bell figure or the normal figure and see here this is 31 percent this is um, 0 0.91 so this will be 8 percent and this is 42 percent and next what we have to find we have to find out the mean value as well as the variance first of all when x is equal to 
see here when x is equal to 45 let's get started so when x is equal to 45 what is the formula here the formula here is equal to z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so if i substitute here then the z value will be 45 minus mu by sigma is equal to say z1 so as it is on the left side of the curve so this is negative part and this is the positive part so for x is equal to 45 i am representing this as minus z1 see here this is a negative value therefore we got the first equation as 45 see here 45 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1 this is equation number one when comes to x is equal to 64 see here when x is equal to 64 when x is equal to 64 again if i substitute here in z is equal to x minus mu by sigma then see here z is equal to this is a 64 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2 say as it is in the positive side or the right side of the curve so this represents the negative side and this represents the positive side so we got the second equation as a 64 minus mu by sigma is equal to capital uh, positive z2 this is equation number two and see from the figure see from the figure we have see here from the figure see from the figure we have the region from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2 what is this value here so the probability of 0 less than z less than z2 the area between z and z2 is nothing but 0 0.42 0 0.42 and now from the table see using the table we'll find out what is z2 from the table what is the value of z2 so let me show you 0 0.42 0 0.42 so it is see here so when you check this area under the standard normal curve 0 0.42 is here so 0 0.4207 it is beyond 0 0.42 and so we am concluding this 0 0.4192 uh, it is nearly equal to 0 0.42 so the value here is 0 0.4 under 0 so the value here is 1.4 under 1.4 we got the value therefore z2 value is 1.4 and the next one from the figure see here from the figure the probability of see here the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 see here from the see from the figure the area from z to z1 from the figure if i subtract 0 0.31 from 0 0.5 we got the value as 0 0.19 so this value the area from z to z1 or z1 to z1 is same as 0 0.91 therefore from the table so using table what will be the z1 area so here the area is given so what will be the z1 value 0 0.19 see here if i see 0 0.19 is here as well as here and see the difference between 0 0.1900 is minimum in this case so i am concluding z1 value as 0 0.5 and 0 so therefore z1 will be 0 0.5 so after getting z1 and z2 value so substitute 3 and 4 in equation 1 and 2 so, I will substitute the values of Z1 and Z2 in equation. Mm -hmm. Substitute 3 and 4 values in equations 1 and 2. See here, what are the equations 1 and 2? See, let me show you this one. The equations are nothing but 45. See here, so equation 1 is nothing but 45 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1. And the next one, what is equation 2? This is a 64 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2. See here, these are 1 and 2 equations. If I substitute the value of z1 as 0 0.5, that is 45 minus mu by sigma is equal to in place of z1 if i write 0 0.5 and see here 64 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2 
what is the value of z2 here z2 is nothing but 1.4 so I got another two equations and I need two variables. So if I solve these two equations, so this will be if on solving these A and B equations, I'll be getting I'll be getting the values of mu and sigma. And so see here. So if I cross multiply these two, then I'll be getting two equations that is 45 minus mu is equal to minus 0 0.5 into sigma. And see here, this is a 64 minus mu is equal to, this is 1.4 into sigma. So, if I subtract these two equations on subtracting, see, this will be minus and this will be plus and this will be again minus. So, I can cancel this mu. And see here, this is 45 minus a 64, the value here is minus 19. And see, the value here is minus this is 1.9 into sigma. Now, the sigma value is equal to, if I cancel minus on both sides, this will be 19 by 1.9, the value of sigma is 10. So, after getting the sigma, I will substitute the value of sigma in equation 1. So, what is equation number 1? So, let me show you equation number 1 is nothing but 45 minus mu, see here, 45 minus mu is equal to minus so this is uh, equation number one this is 45 minus mu is equal to z1 is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 into sigma 0 0.5 into sigma if i substitute the value of sigma that is 0 0.5 into 10 see here mu value will be 45 plus 0 0.5 into 10. So, mu value will be, let me show you the value that is 45 plus, this is 0 0.5 into 10, the value here is 50. Therefore, we got the mu value as 50 and sigma value is equal to 10. And now, see here, mean we got, so the mean value mu is equal to 50 sigma value the standard deviation value is equal to 10 and the variance we need so the variance is nothing but sigma square that is 10 square sigma square value is nothing but 100 so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and this is how we have to draw the figure and these are the simple steps uh, so under 45 means so we have to plot towards the left side to the ordinate and over 64 see here over 64 means we have to plot the figure towards the right side to the ordinate so this is how we have to solve and from the table also it is very easy to calculate and after solving these two equations we'll be getting the value of mu as well as uh, sigma as well as variance value thank you so much and i'll be uploading many more problems related to this series have a look at those please practice pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel